Welcome to another video here at Omnitech. As I promised last time, we have the same suspect right here, the HP 6460B, the beast of its time, which still works great today. What are we doing today? Last time we upgraded it with new SSD, upgraded RAM to 16 gigabytes, but this time we will do that in reverse and instead we will only change the operating system of this laptop. That will be actually easier than doing what we did on that last video. As always, remove the power, remove the battery from the laptop, remove the lid, put the lid on the side. What do you do next? Take the SSD out of the bay, which is not always the easiest thing to do. And of course, when I'm filming, the SSD decides to be a little bit of a hardhead, but it's okay. We unlatch the first RAM, that's 8 gigs, we put it on the side. Unlatch the second RAM, which is another 8 gigs, and put it on the side. What do we do next? We take the old RAM, the good old one that it came with. We put it back in. Usually I like to put it on the lower bay, but you can try sometimes. They're finicky with that, but most of the time it works. Lower the RAM, which is in place right now. We put the reg the regular hard drive that it was shipped with. What's now 12, 13, 15 years ago, whatever it is. Don't don't catch me on that one. We put it back on on the bay. We uh, don't we don't put it backwards, which is a no no no. We lower it. We put it back on its bay. We push it forward. Now these are not going anywhere. So we have four gigs of RAM right here. Let me let me show it to the camera. I did an injustice right now, not showing you the reality here. That is the same four gigs that we're talking about. I'm not sure if the camera is focusing. Yeah, right here, four gigs. And this is the same RAM we're gonna put in this laptop. And you will see that this laptop actually will work really good. And uh, first thing, place the lid right back in the uh, laptop, locked. Then we place the battery. Locked. Flip the laptop. Plug the power. Open the laptop. Before, at this point, we know we have Windows 7 inside that it was shipped with. So we have no interest in Windows 7 because it has no support. It no longer does anything we want. You can barely even watch YouTube on it. So, what I have prepared this time for you is a drive that contains Zorin OS. I, for this demonstration, will be installing Zorin OS uh, 16 Pro. But you have a Zorin OS uh, 15, I think, or 16, which I will leave a link on the description below. Free. It's free. What does the Pro have in advantage versus the free one? Really not much, except for a few themes, maybe some visual stuff. But really, not much. I bought it because I just wanted to support the guys who built Zorin OS is it's really a lifesaver when it comes to an old laptop that you really have no money to upgrade or you just don't want to upgrade the hardware or you're not uh, technically inclined to open it and find where the hard drive is and you don't know where the RAM is and you don't want to do all that hassle but you want to keep what you had on it well we plug the USB in first in this uh, case we turn on this uh, laptop to enter the boot start menu has F9, but on yours might be different. You just have to uh, usually check on uh, <coughs> just check on Google and uh, see what your uh, laptop or computer has as a BIOS functions. You know, BIOS functions are the F1 to F12. Which one enables on yours to enter the BIOS? At this point, you are introduced to the initial configuration, which uh, it gives an options to go with uh, safe graphics, NVIDIA drivers, which we don't have any. And uh, you go with try or install Zorin OS. You hit enter and wait for it to do its magic. Now, all the checkings have been done. If your hard drive is healthy, it will say it has not found any errors and you are introduced to try Zorin OS or install. 
I click install because we want to install it. You choose the language of your country. You click continue and wait for it to start installing. Uh, you can do normal installation or minimal installation. Normal installation will install web browser, utilities, office software, games, and media players and all that. Download updates. Well, nope, we don't want that because we'll uh, download updates later. Install third-party software. No, we'll do that later. And I usually don't participate in the census. And I click uh, continue. In a lot of cases, in this uh Point at this point right here, it will say install Zorin OS alongside Windows 7 or erase disk and install Zorin OS. In my case, I just uh, wiped the disk beforehand so it doesn't confuse. But in any case, you click erase disk and install Zorin OS. That one. And you click install now. You click continue. You choose your time zone. I'm gonna leave it at default wherever they had it. Uh, you can type a name here, Omni. You can type a password. Please remember the password you're gonna put here. I'm just gonna put a Omni tech and I'm gonna leave it at that. It says weak password, which we know that. Log in automatically and continue. Whew, it took a while, but at this point in the installation, it says installation complete. And what do you do at this point? You click restart now. After you click restart now, it might ask you to remove the installation media, which means remove the uh, USB stick from your computer. Yeah, it says here, please remove the installation medium, then press enter. Remove the installation medium and press enter and now the system should start uh, normally you should not need to do an installation except for the introductory ones that are pretty much normal and here it starts That's actually a beautiful uh, intro. Welcome to Zorin OS 16. And yours might say, welcome to Zorin OS 15. And uh, you can take a tour to learn more about it, but I'll tell you a few things without taking a tour. I'm going to click no thanks. And here you have all the apps available on uh, Zorin OS. It's similar to Windows, graphically at least. You see, as you have start on Windows, you have start here. If you click start on your keyboard, it starts with a search. So you can search anything that's inside your computer. You click start here, and we wanna go right now at the terminal. And I'll uh, show you how you can update uh, your computer. In this case, we uh, have to type sudo space apt dash get space update you put your password and it will start updating your computer and uh, if you're worried about that you don't have your uh, tools for office especially you have them right here click this office here you have Calendar, Evolution, which is the email provider, LibreOffice, which is similar to Word, uh, LibreOffice Impress, Draw, Calculation, Writer, which is kind of a replacement of uh, Word, uh, Microsoft Office Word, if I'm not wrong. I don't really use a lot of Office uh, software, even in my regular computers, but in case you need it, you have it on this one. And here's LibreOffice, and uh, let's type something for example you want to change the font you'd go to heading two you change the fonts here just like you would do in a normal office on windows at any 
style you want to write for example uh let's say you want to go to I, I don't know what kind of types are there because i don't really use it a lot arimo is just like the regular you would use and uh, what not you close it you can save it i'm not gonna save it because i don't really need it but yes you have everything you actually would use on a regular windows you have a few games if you want to kill time but yeah that uh, four gigs of ram 160 gigs of uh just right uh, 60 gigs sorry 60 gigs of regular hard drive and voila your old laptop now is working like a charm as if it were new you click here to uh turn off the computer power off click power off and here you are and thank you for watching another video from omnitech and we will see you next time i hope it helps somebody out there see you